Hey everyone, I'm Richo. I'm Dan. I'm Devin. And this is episode 35 of the Unity Gaming Podcast. It is Wednesday, almost, not Wednesday, it's September late. 26th. It is very it late. It is very late. It is 11 p.m. here we're recording this. We've this is now resolved be... to record podcasts first on yeah. Wednesday. Yeah. It is going to be a sleepy podcast. And, um, and yeah. also short because all we've played is Borderlands 2. Mostly, yeah. <laughs> pretty, pretty much. <laughs> and yeah, we talked about it a lot on the last podcast. So should probably go about And there's times. really nothing much new to say other than discuss story points. And I don't think we people... should. We shouldn't. I don't yeah, think we should. You're right. Yeah, yeah, no. So, but it's good. It's still really good. Still keeping us. And uh, co op is still fantastic. The, whatchamacallit, not cameos. I keep fucking up this word, but the. Uh, Easter eggs. Easter Oma- eggs. Homages. Um, homages maybe the things from other games references references uh, are all still I so awesome every works. time you find one i don't even want to say which ones there are because that's the fun there's of so many in there that like they're part of like main missions yeah and i know you cannot even like know them when you play them there's I'll, so many i'll say one thing so far is that i almost said tina turner tiny tina yeah. um is like the greatest character ever created oh yeah love her um yeah. it's really weird from stuff i've been reading online game critics hate the hell out of her really really and any like players love, love her oh man it's the weirdest thing oh it's just because like i it's f- it's like unanimous whenever really? i was listening to her i was like oh it's the girl from hash which playing because i knew that but i was listening to her, i was like that doesn't sound like her and then after like five minutes when she was talking i was like it is totally totally her and this sounds amazing <laughs> that's pretty awesome actually did, did, okay did you notice her lazy eye yeah it's so great because i think if you're playing two players it actually drifts the other player <laughs> it's just like staring away and then you just kind of move i don't know if it actually i don't know if it was just luck that it went with it but i was like what? oh that was awesome I took three shots. <laughs> it's all the little things in that game that make it so great mm-hmm. um for a game that's so huge and massive in scope there's all these tiny little details and quirks that they add in that just make it feel that extra special for you yeah you know like the eye following you and crazy stuff like that it just i don't know i i think the developers put a lot of uh a lot of really cool stuff in it that is. I hope they keep me. making more. Yeah, no, for sure. Because up until this, I couldn't have given any less <laughs> of shits yeah. for, about, about Borderlands. Just, no, you did not give a fuck about no, Borderlands. I, don't. I think out of the references, <laughs> the only one, the only one that bugs me is uh, so far being zero. Every time you stealth, his, his like most used sentence going into it is "You've activated my trap card," and it's just like, "Oh, it's some Yu-Gi-Oh!" And then like you do it like three more times, it keeps saying, it. "I'm like, oh that." That's still from yu gi Have you heard what <laughs> Axton yells when no. he hel- throws out turrets and stuff? He says, like, say hi to him for me, honey. And he keeps, like, referring to his turret as, like, his girlfriend or his wife or whatever. Oh, my God. And, like, the other half of the times, he's like, hey, guys, stand in front of this. Yeah, and, see, like, like th- there's so many variations on it. It's just But character stuff so like that great. is funny because it's, like, in that world. But it's like, oh, yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh. You go again. You just have to believe in the heart of the cards. Yeah, yeah, you do. Jesus, just yeah. One day I'm just it. gonna stealth. He's gonna be like, "Blue eyes, white dragon." I'll be like, "Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I'm on board with this again. <laughs> this game is complete." <laughs> yeah. So, just, like, um, shut down your PC. You're like, oh, I need to. I just need to walk away for a bit. <laughs> other than that, have you guys found any interesting guns in it? Maybe. Yeah, I found a couple of really sweet ones. Um, I have a rocket launcher that fires three rockets for the price of one. Ooh, Ooh wow. It's super inaccurate once you try and fire at anything more than about five feet away, though, because the rockets just kind of like spiral off. I know one of my friends found a really good rocket launcher, and when he shot it, he's like, "This is gonna be awesome!" And it fired like it was like a character walking, like walking at speed. So it was like, (laughs) (laughs) it just like take forever just to hit anything. It was the funniest shit ever, though. (laughs) Dude, sweet, look at it. (laughs) I think the best weapon I've found so far, not not even from like a a power standpoint, but from a like awesomeness standpoint, is any T door rocket launcher. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just because of the way you shoot them, and then like because of the way T door weapons work, is you throw them once they're done and they explode. So the rocket, you just like mash all the buttons on the side, and then just like let it go, and it just like fires itself <laughs> as another <laughs> rocket. It like a torpedo. Yeah. yeah. That's really, that's pretty awesome actually. But like uh, the animation is him just like hitting all the buttons on the side, and then just like kind of dropping and like half throwing it forward and then it just goes is it like a projectile when it just like yeah it's just a torpedo exactly what Riccio described it's just fucking <laughs> awesome that's absolutely amazing and then it reforms in your arm and it's great 
That's pretty kick ass. I like how the entire time I play that game, I'm really happy, except for like at the exception of not spoiling anything, but any claptrap missions, I feel really bad for him in this game. <laughs> He's such a lonely person. <laughs> and I know Dan knows probably the one that I I'm talking exactly about. Exactly the one you're talking about. But uh, oh man, hand the, out the invitations. <laughs> oh yeah, everyone's gonna... anyway. It's got I don't some say great it, lines, but it's so good. It's uh, that game is just so much fun, and it lasts for I think one of my buddies finally finished it, and it took him roughly 35 hours. Oh wow, not bad. Uh, and he says New Game Plus is ridiculous. Like he just, it's like great, almost Inferno on Diablo. I think. Or something. Wow. I, did you guys go to the um, the character skill tree creator thing? Online? No. O- online? No. no you didn't. can map out all your character skills. Yeah. It gives you fifty skill points because max oh, really? is fifty. Oh, okay. It just says like, go nuts. Map your character skills. So that's what I did. I actually respect all my points to like start down the path that I mapped out. That's why my turret is super ridiculous right now. It's oh, really? going to be crazy. I'm mapping it down the path where it's going to shoot rockets. It's going to have like a super low cooldown. It's going to have a long duration of a bunch of shots per round. It's going to have a shield, uh, and I'm going to be able to start it on two of them. Nice. Wow. Holy that's, shit. That's how I spec my character. <laughs> Whoa. That just sounds really sick. And also, most of those points have to be put into the survival tree, so I'm like never going to die. That's pretty and intense. just like regen health all the time. So I've actually respect my character as well to switch it from being a sniper to a stealth ninja that at the end when I get it, it'll be every time I get a kill in ninja mode, it just like resets ninja mode. And my melees do like retarded I damage. I found a way it. better sniper mod for you. I don't know if you still want it. But... If it's sniper damage, I might pass for now. But we'll see. I f- I, well, I, there's that one I took the picture of and sent you. Yes. Yeah. If you want it, I found like a three way better ones mm-hmm. since then and have been saving the best one. Okay. Well, I'll. So definitely. I don't even remember what the best one that I have right now does. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, no. I remember what it does. It improves three different skills by plus two. Wow. Wow. It, yeah. That's why I saved it. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> this is. What, what kind of class mod does this? It just improves everything. So, yeah. Kind of I find there's always just so much stuff in that game. It's like you think you've seen like the funniest shit, but it's just like nope. Here's some more ridiculous shit that you didn't expect. <laughs> there, there was one point in. Um, I don't think it's much of a spoiler. So you go and you rescue Roland. Yeah. Do, do you know the the audio logs I'm talking about? I think. Okay, uh, yeah. you you walk into this area and you pick up an like right at the beginning of the area you pick up an audio log from Marcus. Oh yeah. And he's like, "Greetings, Roland. I see that you're having trouble with." The blood shots. And you could really use some extra firepower. And it goes on and on like that with like inserted <laughs> words. And then you get to the end of the room and there's another audio log and you pick it up and it says, Greetings, the blood shots. I see you're having trouble with the Crimson Raiders. It's exactly the same audio log that he sent to Roland, but it's just like that. with blood shot stuff in it instead. And I thought that was real funny. Awesome. <laughs> I should miss that one completely. That's awesome. Pretty kick ass. Because I picked up the first one, I was like, oh, that's funny, it's this Marcus. And then I got to the end of the room, picked up the second, and I was like, well done. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's pretty perfect. Nice. Pretty well executed amazing. on this joke. <laughs> um, Whoever wrote wrote a lot of the jokes in it has a fucking amazing sense of humor. Did we ever find out how many writers there were in that? Ooh, no, actually. We should probably look at that. Oh, well. It's probably like three or four. Yeah. yeah. No, but they, they have a wonderful sense of humor that just... Everything in Gearbox... The, the seems to be well actually i don't know what space marine is going to be like but actually the past two games and borderlands you have mean been colonial marines colonial. Yeah, yeah it's like space marines <laughs> what yeah no they've just so they've got a, an amazing sense of humor and amazing sense of style when it comes to their their writing yeah so they're great and i Very love the unique. guns oh, i'm so trying to, i'm trying to think of like guns. the guns i use right now i have a shotgun that fires two shots and then you throw it but it's like super ridiculously powerful but you have to be like right up at someone and i have another one that fires nine shots like super laser style and they kind of fire in a wave pattern forward oh cool wow and, like just keep going yeah, i haven't um, even found that many I have, ridiculous guns yet but i have a grenade launcher that's made by hyperion that's like an epic one and you load it from the top is it one of the assault rifle ones or is it a I can't remember off the top of my head. What ammo does it use? I think it's a shotgun, actually. Okay. Um, But you load it from the top, and you click it down, and instead of having just a standard reticle, you have an actual, like, uh, distance gauge on it. Okay. Like a a regular um, grenade launcher. Like an actual grenade launcher. Yeah, like an actual grenade launcher. And the thing, it it blows up, it bounces back, like the, uh, the bullet will bounce back, and it'll light anything it touches on fire. 
<laughs> Sweet. So it's like, I'll just use it as my sniper rifle. I'll just like zoom in, shoot a couple of pot shots, and they move decently slow through the air. So you can be running at something <laughs> when it hits. So it's like mortar fire. It's just fucking great. So I'll just roll through an encampment in no time whatsoever. Actually, I just remembered the gun I was trying to think of. It's a really good Malwin SMG. Fires corrosive bullets. Oh, nice. But it has a really cool reload because it's got like a round drum, but the round drum's on the side. Oh, is it the one that you like crank? Yeah, you, oh. you, you like take it off and then you put on a new one and you have to like crank it up one round and then oh, it just really? starts like spinning on its own and spins faster when you fire. It's real cool. That's yeah. really kick ass. The the gun design in that is just yeah they definitely did way better. That's why I don't think I can go back and play the first one. Yeah, no, because cause the guns are just there were some cooler g- yeah. guns later on, but yeah, it took a while to get to them. I remember the the only like really cool guns in that game, they were all shotguns. The first one was TK's Wave. Yep. And then the second one was the shotgun that fires rocket launcher bullets. That's when I was like, yo, this game got some guns. <laughs> and then the last one was Sledge's shotgun. And then my safe file got wrecked. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that happens. Yeah. But yeah, um, did you guys play anything else this week? Um, I've been stupidly addicted to FTL. Yeah, it's pretty good. And, like, anytime I sit down, it's like, oh, Borderlands. Borderlands, I have to sit down for like a two-hour chunk to make it worth my while. FTL, it's like, oh, I'll just roll in, play 20 minutes. Okay, I'm done. Like, I don't know. Game's phenomenal. I wish it's I kickstarted it. Um, whoops, sorry. What are you <laughs> were, were you, oh, I thought you were, were you saying anything no, else I about board? Oh, no. See, I know me and Dan played some uh, Spec Ops for Modern Warfare Three. Yeah, how how is that? I've, a little. Well, we only played the started. stuff that was on disc, though. Sadly, we, 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 well, I feel like we're obligated to work through that stuff yeah. first before we can try the DLC stuff. Yeah, okay. for sure. But uh, man, that shit's hard. We had to switch it down to easy to be able to even just survive through that. Well, really? regular, not easy. Yeah, they don't regular. actually let you play Spec Ops missions yeah. on easy. But, damn. Yeah, like, it was kind of... You die really, really fast. And the levels, that, like, at least the submarine one, for example, we were trying, like, it's all really close quarters. It's really hard to see where the it hell you're getting really shot from. It really feels weird going back and playing that game after, like, something like, like Borderlands, Borderlands and... and Sleeping Dogs and all these kind of like different feel yeah. Yeah. shooters and stuff and going back to like something that's as twitch shooty as Call of Duty even yeah, though sure. that's not technically twitch shooty compared to like Counter Strike and yeah. things it still feels really weird and like the movements almost Much more feels like too quick and, and like people everything. sprinting at you shooting and like instantly dying having yeah. to reload like aiming on the sight sprint like knife it's fucking like what the? feels like overweighted like not 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 overweight underweighted as in like you can just Whip a you know three sixty right around. Yeah. Well, it almost makes me feel like Yo, these guns suck. Yeah. <laughs> Ever since playing like, Borderlands, I'm like, where's shoot. the one that shoots fire? Why can't I have that? <laughs> what is this? These all just shoot bullets. How about a gun that shoots another <laughs> gun that shoots bullets? I don't want Volkov guns. Is that the brand that they only ever shoot regular bullets? Yeah, it's Volkov. Yeah. Uh, mm. I thought they, it was they, they always have like chain guns and stuff. Isn't it Dahl? No, Dahl's the one that has burst fire when you get inside. Yeah. Okay. Volkov is just a lot of. I want to say it's Volkov. It starts with a V. I know that. Vladov. Vl- oh, oh yes, 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 yes. Um, I don't like those guns. <laughs> they're always regular and they're always like chain guns and they're never super powerful and they use a trigger hammer really fast. I like oh. I like the ones that light people on fire. That's what I like right now. They burn. It's good. I have a pistol that does it. I have that weird, crazy, like mortar grenade launcher thing that does it. I have a shotgun that shoots explosive, and I've got that shotgun that's like, hey, I'm gonna shoot like 30 rounds every shot. <laughs> what? Yeah, that, that's something. I don't know if it's just because I didn't get far enough in Borderlands One, but um, did some of the guns use up multiple? Like I, ammo I would, per shot. I would just like to point out that we totally went away from Borderlands <laughs> and totally found our way right back <laughs> into it. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, well, it's totally all everything that's on our mind right now. Whatever, that game's good. Yeah, it is it's real good. Uh, but a- answer my question, then we can move on. Not that I'm sure. aware of, to be honest with you. The what was that? What was your question? Um, that uses multiple rounds per shot. Like, like in this game, if you find like a really good yeah, they did elemental weapon, it uses like two bullets when you shoot it. Yeah, did that ever happen in the yeah, first game? Yeah, there's definitely. Normally, what it would do is like guns that have like the times whatever, other than a shotgun, it would normally fire multiple bullets. It just was written as like the times two or whatever. Oh yes, 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 yes. yes. So, 
Okay, so but it wasn't surfaced like uses two rounds no. per. Okay. It wasn't as easy to know. I think that's why they had to write it out like that. Uh, okay, I actually used my first sniper rifle a couple of days ago. I hadn't picked up a sniper rifle in Borderlands. Was, yeah, in Borderlands. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I didn't just go on a killing spree. No, in Borderlands, and <laughs> when you were talking about um, didn't just. <laughs> Yeah, I did. It's not recent? Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Come on. It's not recent. No, but um, you were talking about how they make it really satisfying to to get, like, the they, the sniper bolts feel like they have weight to them. Yeah. They really do. Mm. They do a really good job on that. The sound, the, the, the impact. On yeah, the My revolver impact. has double the power of any sniper rifle I can find. Really? So whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I Great. can just do my... If anyone has watched the dry run, I have <laughs> I have a ridiculously like vomit inducing <laughs> tactic of repeatedly hitting left trigger then right trigger to aim down the sight and get back out of it again to continually get a perfect aimed shot because of the type of revolver I use and I can do it as fast as I can pull the triggers. Oh my god. And it's just this like sickening zoom in zoom out at high speeds thing. It's the best tactic in that entire game, but it, I didn't understand because I'd never watched it. Yeah. I'd always done it. Yeah. So it's like your brain is expecting the zoom. Yeah, zoom because out. I am controlling yeah. it. But watching me play that way, like I was, he's watching him do it, and I'm just like sitting next to him, like, "Dan, you gotta, you gotta fucking stop doing that, man." And I'm like, "What are you talking about?" But I go back and I watch our dry run, and it's like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> no wonder my girlfriend doesn't watch me play Borderlands. This is, I want to throw up right now. Oh my god, that's absolutely terrible. <laughs> Jeez. But it's the best fucking tactic in the game, so <sighs> whatever, you know. <laughs> Get a law revolver is what they're called. Uh-huh. Yeah. And just win the game. <laughs> just yeah. roll with it. Yep. That's it. Yeah. Speaking about rolling with it, I want to play Torchlight 2. I yeah. pre-ordered what that. What the fuck? I don't that know. Was I, I saw it up on the screen. I wanted to segue away from Borderlands 2. I'm Speaking rolling. of rolling, here's a segue. <laughs> Torchlight 2. <laughs> exactly. I lost my thought. <laughs> Game's good. I've already dropped. Uh, Fuck. I think. God damn it, Dan. According to I don't know. I don't know. Like, I have like six or seven hours on one character, and I started every class at least. I've tried them all. Um, the game is really good. It's to me better than Diablo three in some ways. Uh, in more ways that count. I yeah, you were, you were saying that today when we were talking about it. Yeah, uh, that it was. Uh, I think I don't remember if I talked about it on last. I don't think you did. No, because it came out after yeah. it, didn't it? Yeah, it came yeah. out on Friday. It was on Thursday. 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 Yeah. And we record on Wednesdays. So, whoop. So, I'm going to go ahead and explain kind of what I think the differences are that matter. It's just like, for example, the game feels really mellow. Wait, no, we totally talked about this because I remember I told you that it was easy to podcast and everything, no? No, you probably talked to You fucking told this, like, my face. No. Yeah. I told you to the face. <laughs> yeah, you told well, me to the face. I'm going to tell you to your well. ears now. Uh, no, the game is really good. It's, I'm fucking tired, okay? It's super, yeah, it's super. Yeah, I know, it's like 11 30 now. <laughs> um, but no, it's, it's super. Uh, laid back uh there's a there's a story to it and it's all cool to listen to it but it's a lot more like okay here's a quest just like there's not even any talking just go straight up kill these things or go find loot go into these dungeons just murder shit um and it started off really slow where i was like hey you know the spells don't look that great and whatever but as i progress it's just like there's a lot of shit happening on screen there's a lot of stuff that actually looks really beautiful uh just like artistically i guess like colors and swirls and crazy stuff and then stuff's like mashing together it's just, I don't know, it looks really good and there's chunking and people blow up chunking Chunk, it's giblets i just, look forward to the point when i play that game mm-hmm. when um you have a, I have po- a podcast to listen to yeah it's it's the best thing to do while doing something else like watching a tv show watching a movie maybe well, watching some netflix listening to a being podcast inspired by you i should probably catch up on those rooster teeth ones yeah yeah I've been, and so uh, i'm like i think at least 20 behind yeah do so that. there you go there's do some that. torchlight 2 but uh but no, the thing is, is like torchlight 2 compared to diablo 3 uh, the loot system is one thing that I think is done a little bit better in Torchlight 2, just because Diablo 3, like I was, like I've been telling everybody that I, that asks me about the game, is that in Diablo 3 you'd get like a sweet two hander, let's say, and you're like, this is gonna mash face. It's a like, it's a super awesome legendary weapon, and um, you just you pick it up and you expect it to be like awesome, and you just get it and you're like, oh, intellect, oh, increases my magic, oh, more mana. Well, this is a piece of shit, <laughs> and it's not tailored to the class you think would use it. But in Torchlight 2, it's like, you fucking pick up a sword, it's going to just have strength, it's going to have insane damage, it's going to be fucking sweet, it's going to attack faster. You get like a two-hander, it's just going to have like insane damage boost, strength, like stuff you'd expect the classes to use. And I just find the loot's way better. Well, now, that's because they aren't trying to make any money from auction houses. Yeah, that's true. But uh, 
I don't know. It's that's your answer. That's, yeah, that, yeah. yeah. It, it's, but yep. it's just it's so much more rewarding when you see like an orange drop and you're like, dude, that's a fucking two handed weapon, or just oh, that's a bow, or that's a gun. And you're like, that's exactly what I need, and I know it's gonna be sweet. And I'm just I don't know. It makes me super excited. Um, that's really weird to say out loud. Uh, anyway, but no, like the yeah, loot. I'm 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 really interested in playing it because you were explaining to me, which I kind of knew a bit about that. A lot of the people who designed Diablo two are in the team for Torchlight and Torchlight 2. I think so far it's, it's two people, at least. Um, and that they were from can't Blizzard, be very Norse. big, is it? For Torchlight 2? I'm not sure. But I know it's two people from Diablo 2's like, Blizzard North, from what yeah. I understand. So that's got a really heavy influence. That makes influence. nothing to me. I never played the old Diablo. Really? So. Oh, no. man. Um, oh, God damn it, Dan. Shut but uh, I don't know. It's funny because there's... It's going to be hard to explain this to anybody who hasn't played Diablo 2, but playing uh, Torchlight 2... There's certain things that they do, certain sounds that are like taken from Diablo 2 but tweaked. So you're like, oh, right, I'm not playing that game though. And from then, what I understand, the Torchlight Town theme is almost identical to the Diablo yeah, Town theme. There's a, there's a guitar thing, and it's like, what the fuck am I in like Tristram? And it's it's and when you get to the like other areas, it sounds like a, a song from like Lute Gulane, which is the second act in at Diablo 2. And just there's just these cues that they hit that were the same cues that were in Diablo 2 with the sound and the music. Is that like some of that cool it. design stuff that they did in Mass Effect 3 to like do some of the musical cue callbacks to the old oh. Mass Effect games? Like that type that of like unintentionally. just hitting, hidden in the regular music is like, hey, here's this little thing. But, it, but like, instead of triggering like an emotional like, oh, I remember that, it's, it's, like, a, it's like a nostalgia type of... Uh, Remember Diablo 2? Yeah, it's, it's good, right? <laughs> now you're having fun with this. And it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this I am torturing like Diablo 2. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, understandable. Yeah, I don't know. It's Same kind of tactic, different reasons. Yeah, also, right. <laughs> unlike Diablo 3, uh, whenever you... Let's say you were to make a... Fuck, what the hell are they called? Are they war- warriors? No, barbarian. Let's say you'd make a barbar- barbarian, which is like the melee class. You'd get to the end of it, and you'd have access to every skill... Uh, you didn't actually tweak out your stats. Like all that was just okay. You're like everybody else except for your items. Yeah. Uh, in Torchlight Two, you just like Diablo Two, you get five stat points to put towards your like strength, vitality, like all that stuff. Yeah. As well as points to put into your skill trees. Okay. And you can customize those. You can only re-roll the past three. So if you fucked up like way earlier, you're just you're down that path now. Uh, I don't think there's a level limit. I think I've seen people who are like level over 200, which is awesome. Wow. Uh, and you can just intense. keep putting shit in the stuff. I don't know if there's like Torchlight One where there's an infinity infinite dungeon to go there through must but be. people I, I, are that high level i hope so uh and uh i don't know it's just so many things that i feel does better than diablo 3 that be, because of the way that weapons are doled out and items are doled out and uh the leveling seems like the experience is just perfectly tuned that every time that you feel like it's becoming a lull and there's like oh maybe i should stop it's like oh just found a sick item oh just found i just ding i'm gonna try something new and it just so it's got really good it's, hooks yeah it. it's really hard to stop like there's not really a point and where you're saying yeah Okay, this is just getting... I, I, I say that, but there's one thing. It's not really a spoiler. When you get to the second act of the game, in Diablo 2 and Diablo 3, you go and it's like, oh, like, desert area. And every time I go to a desert area in those games, it's like, hey, this game just got really fucking boring. Like, why did it just go <laughs> desert? Like, okay. Yeah. And then Torchlight 2 is just like, yeah, man, strong start. The final boss fight of Act 1 is, like, fucking awesome. There's all this crazy shit going on. It took, like, 10 minutes to down, and you felt awesome. Then you just take that teleporter, and it's like, desert town. I'm and like, you were like, Fuck. I was like, what? Okay, I'm stopping. Like, it's Lol, just, JK Jungle. Yeah, it, it was just weird because like, n- no point before that like I ever wanted to stop. I was like, no, this is sweet. It's getting better. Like, I just fucking spent four hours straight. Let's just keep going. Let's keep Oh, desert. I'm done with this for tonight. <laughs> Which is weird, but I don't know. I don't know why games do that. I don't know why all top down. Is that, is that what the second act turns into? Pretty it's much. Desert? Yeah. That's I why feel I like, like that uh, color palette might work a little better than dark ground, I was, fog everywhere. Yeah, yeah, it, it does look good. Well, are you talking about Diablo three or Torchlight? Yeah. Anything? Torchlight. Yeah, so Torchlight, it it becomes Torchlight. I feel looks a little colorful. Col- <laughs> but it almost feels out of place. In like a the color, game. like, like the color. I just kind of like the color. It's. It starts off really kind of like, oh, these are good colors. But the second you get into caves and there's like gems emanating light that are like kind of cool colors. Like there's a, Oh, yeah. Well, it, it I guess gets, that's because I haven't even... Yeah it, gets, yeah, it gets way better as you go in. Like you kind of... It does start off looking like, oh, look, the numbers that pop up are like bright orange. And oh, look at these things. Oh, you have a pet that's like a cute dog. It's, it's like, true. Okay. In the dry run, we did play in that um, kind of... Starter. Egyptian-y looking yeah. tomb place. And that, that looked okay. Yeah. So... But it's it's neat. What what I do like about the dungeon area and the dungeon, the desert area at least, is that everything feels more like you're 
fighting to like a desert town, so it's not like here's a wide open space. Just run along the dust and look at the dust blow in the wind and fight little serpent things. It's like, yo, these fucking doors just busting through. I'm like, there's still <laughs> stuff going on, so it's not bad. I w- I, I want to hit the um, I want to try the mod because um, in Torchlight One there was a big mod community that that grew up around the game, and I know that they design Torchlight Two with uh, is it Steamworks? Is it the... uh, no, it's not Steamworks. It's not Steamworks. It's not, yeah, no. I know that they're they're frustratingly. It's so. actually really annoying. Cause, yeah, you have to get a Runic account and then tie your Steam account to it so that it pulls your friends list. But every time you want to add a new friend, you either add them through in game or go back into your runic account yeah, and then re-tag yeah. your steam and it'll re-roll through it it's um, okay. and the ability to sign up for a runic account was totally broken on launch day it was so good. i haven't uh, done it yet <laughs> so but i've heard there's a there's usually a really good um mod community that builds up around the torchlight franchise and yeah people love the first game I, w- I would love to just try and see what mods there are available that that tweak them it's like the skyrim thing where you know, the inventory wasn't that great, so someone made a mod for that it. That means like, you're going to fall into this trap of, I spend more time modding my game than actually playing. I'm going to play through it first before I touch it. Like, I'm going to play through it straight vanilla, but then I want to see what else is I'm out gonna there. I'm going to play through it straight vanilla, but once they have controller support. Yeah, well, I think yeah. they said they might actually be trying to, but I don't. they don't Good. really know for shit. Sh- shit? For sure. They don't know for shit. For sure yet. I <laughs> <laughs> don't know for shit. No, for sure yet. For sure yet. For shit. Um, but no, the thing is, like Devin was saying with the mod community, uh, Torchlight 2 is online, unlike Torchlight 1. Well, it's not online only, but you can play online. Also, it has a LAN, and you don't have to play online. Your same character is across all of them, so you don't have to make different ones. It's fucking awesome. Um, however, you can mod items into the game and cheat, and it's kind of like all they do is when someone joins a game, It'll say, like, blah, 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 has joined the game with a little exclamation point next to their name. And that means, like, this guy might have traded or he might have gotten a hacked item. Like, just watch out for this dude. Uh, but easily Just a just... heads up, but he's yeah. still going to play with you. And yeah. Do yeah. Whatever. So, uh, and if, apparently to edit your character's name and level, there's, just like, a, a file you can just edit and just be like, well, that's done. Um, but uh, that's true. Like, if they're good, not going to care about this stuff, yeah. why, why try and lock it down? Yeah. So, they said, yeah, just if... But the way they do it is you can create private rooms and everything. So it's, if you don't want to play with those people, you don't have to. But if you don't mind, just fucking make an open game. Anything will happen and crazy shit can happen. But That's uh, uh, pretty cool. Also, unlike Diablo, it's six players online. So it's more, it's like in between Diablo 3 and 2 because 2 was eight players. But mm-hmm. it gets pretty hectic. Um, which brings me to the last thing I want to say about Torchlight before we move on is the performance is fucked. Really? Yeah. It's just like, yo, you're running it smooth, 60. There's nothing going on. Five frames a second. And then suddenly it's like another dude comes in. And you're like, oh, sweet. This is going to get worse. Nope. Back to 60. And then you're in a huge fight with like 15 things fighting each other. Bogs down. And then middle of it just goes straight back up. And it's just weird because no matter what settings you choose, it fucks up. But really? I'm pretty sure it'll get ironed out. It's not terrible. Like, it's still always playable. But it's always like, what is happening? Why okay, does this well, frame just, rate? Okay. All right. And it okay, irons okay, itself out. Um, but it's cool. Also, I love being able to have a pet, like a hawk or a ferret or a bulldog or a, something called a papillon, which is a, just a, like a dog or a falcon or, or a dragon or a dragon dog. No, anyway. Um, yeah, no, so Torchlight 2 is pretty awesome. But uh, other than that, do you guys play anything? Do, do we want to make a quick mention of our potential plans for Torchlight 2 and Borderlands 2? Yeah, sure. Um, if you guys are listening to us on iTunes, uh, we do have a YouTube channel. Uh, if you are listening to us on Twitch, we do have a YouTube channel. And on there, we're going to try to do... If you're a- listening to us on YouTube, you're here. What's <laughs> we have a YouTube channel if yeah. you aren't familiar with it. Um, even though I think YouTube just totally changed up everything today. But anyway, um, we're going to be trying to do a community play date. Is that, is that the right word? A community... <laughs> That's appropriate because it's it's a date. And we're it's playing. not Dan. an entire yeah. day. Dan. Yeah. So we'll try and have Join multiplayer... My play date. <laughs> we'll try and play some <laughs> multiplayer games with all the viewers. Uh, well, as many viewers as we can... Um, We'll, we'll put out a dedicated we, video yeah. for it yeah. once we have ironed out exactly how we're going yeah. to do it. Yeah. But I think so far we want to maybe try it with Borderlands 2 as well as Torchlight 2. Yeah, I think that's well, sick. Um, but I'm we'll going to be playing Borderlands 2 and you guys can do whatever you want. So Shut up. No, but yeah, we'll, we'll try and figure out what we're going to do as well as try and get voice chat working on something. Uh, we might use a raid call or some. We don't know yet. Ventral we're, or, we're, or we're Mumble. Ventral. or. But we're going to have to find a server for that stuff. But raid call seems a little bit simpler, kind of. But anyway, simple. We'll, we'll figure it out. Um, so that's going to be pretty awesome. But, uh, yeah, there's, I think there's like maybe one or two other things that I just want to mention for games. I don't know if you guys have anything else. I got really nothing else, man. I've just been playing the classics Literally for me. Literally only Borderlands. All right, well, I'm going to quickly mention two game, two or three games here. Uh, I went back to binary, binary Domain for like a good hour and a half or something this week. Big boat. That game is awesome. I can't, like, if ever that goes on sale on Steam or anywhere, like, it's so, if it's 10 or $15, pick it up. It is so much fun. 
I think in the last couple of weeks it went on sale on yeah. daily deals. So oh, I think it's going to so. be one of those games that is just on daily deal every once in a while. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. But it is. It's the story is bad but good. It's like terribly. It's it's like a, like a cheesy movie, but it's so funny. Like it's it's oh, and the contr- it controls well. The shooting is awesome. There's RPG elements sort of to like level up your character and kind of give him mods. And there's like this weird voice and integration thing where you can recognition where you can kind of say things to people and this multiplayer I don't know is pretty much dead but yeah. the single player is just awesome and it's it's worth playing I think I'm like six or seven hours into it and there's still more to it it sounds pretty wicked but I bought it on PC during the Steam sale there, oh, yeah, and I'll probably really, yeah I give it a shot it's I'll probably jump into it once I get that controller I'd almost do a dry run of that <laughs> I'd almost do a dry run just to show it to people and be like that was look, this, look at this game it's fun <laughs> I remember um, I remember watching you play that for a bit when you first got it yeah. it was uh, it was fun to watch. But yeah, that, that, that game's sick. That game's sick. Um, other than that, uh, I went through... I actually forgot to mention this last week. Is I played through a Half-Life 2 mod called Grey, uh, which is a horror mod that came out and uh, past like two or three fright days that I was having on my channel, which I play free games on Fridays on stream. Uh, I had the chance to fully go through it. I think the mod is maybe like three hours long, but it is like the one of the best horror mods I've ever seen. For a game that's not like made by like a publisher and it's just like a free mod that thing is like a first person shooter silent hill game really it hits like the story and the weirdness and the atmosphere like perfectly and i don't know it's how long was it in uh, development uh i think six years oh, okay what <laughs> i think i don't know i might, I might be, like one I might guy be, no i might think i think i'm messing that up with black mesa source maybe yeah. but it was in development for a very long time people have been waiting for it for a while uh and it finally came out and I was like, holy shit, great. And I was like, what is this exactly? What is this? And somebody told me to play it and I was like, well, this looks kind of creepy, but it was awesome. It's really well done. It's, yeah, it's pretty freaking awesome. Um, and uh, yeah, I guess I played some Black Mesa Source as well. Uh, I know I mentioned it on the last podcast that it was out. Uh, it's pretty faithful to the Half-Life 1 maps and areas. Um and a lot of stuff, but it feels really good. It looks really awesome, and it kind of makes me want to go back and play Half Life One because I never actually finished it. I got like maybe an hour or two into it. I got to like the missile silo area, and then um, that was it. But anyway, that's pretty. I, sweet. I'm gonna play that game once it Black Mesa completes its green litness. Green lightness. Steam, Do and it. I can just hit install. Do it. And then wait. Nice. Do it. Because um, at this point, the only non-Steam games I own are StarCraft Two, Diablo Three, and Battlefield Three. Really? I guess I did actually play some of that. I play Battlefield 3 now. Oh, you bought it for $10, didn't you? For yeah. the 10 anniversary. Oh, I should have bought that. How do you... Don't you have it? Battlefield 3? No. no I was in the beta. Oh. What did yeah. you think about it? Then? I actually... It's on PC. Oh, yeah, you played on 360. I played on 360. I didn't like it. Really? 360. Ooh. Okay. On PC, I like it. Ooh. Okay. And uh, so... Why? What, what What are the significant differences that make you like it? 64 players? No, I don't know. Yeah, actually. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, just <laughs> crazy fact that, like... Just randomly, there can be, like, fucking ten people securing a single hallway. Yeah. Just for, like, no reason. And then, like, six other people drive by in, like, fucking Jeeps and just, like, get blown up by, like, helicopters running by. I'm like, I'm seeing all this. I'm shot and I'm dead. But that's fine. Um, <laughs> it's fucking that cool. That was real cool. But I really like it because of the way it's designed with the browser. Really? Because I can just hop in load and up that web page, queue up a game, play one game... Which I found a really good 64 player server that only plays Rush and Con- Conquest Large oh, on, nice. on, on vanilla maps. Nice. <laughs> Which is like, yep. <laughs> Done. That's what I play in Battlefield. So I just jump into that every once in a while and then play one or two games and then I just quit out. That's it. Nice. It scratches that itch. Yeah. It's like, I want to play something for 20 minutes. I don't want to get into sitting down for hours in Borderlands. So I'll play. <laughs> A match or two of Battlefield, and that's that's it. pretty kick-ass, man. Yeah, that's a, that's that itch that I want to scratch. Dan, Dan's it. itch? Oh, okay. I thought you were like, I want to scratch your itch, Dan. <laughs> no, let's get right in that. Battlefield has gone on sale quite a bit. I know. Actually. I just, Ten dollars is the lowest it's ever it's been. It's always been like fifty percent off or something. Yeah, though. they keep giving out coupons for it and discounting it and stuff. I know. Well, the really reason keep... it went for ten dollars is they were selling every Battlefield game for ten dollars a piece mm-hmm. because, because it was Battlefield's tenth yeah. anniversary. Yeah. So. I should have bought it, but I, eh. uh, shout out to Skinned M for for pointing out that deal on Twitter. Off. Yeah, so that's awesome. Oh, did you guys play that new uh, World of Warcraft expansion that came out? No, <laughs> I, 
I, I was What's a World of Warcraft? <laughs> no, I wanted to not. I don't I was, know. I don't uh, care for it. I was it, explaining to Richo that I, I might pick it up sometime in the future, but I don't have any time on my account. So it's forty dollars for an expansion, plus I have to put forty nine. Oh no, it's thirty nine. Yeah, it's for a DLC. They don't give you free time with the expansion. Nope, never give you free time. So it's Yo, imme- fuck that. Immediately goes up to about fifty five bucks for about a month. Can't you like scroll really of resurrect it. someone or get someone to scroll of resurrect you? You have to be off like for two, two months, or th- two or three months. Yeah, yeah. I, I've only been off for about. I might be at two months, two or three. It months seems like now. a while ago that you stopped playing. Yeah. My, my most expensive comeback. I don't have any friends that play anymore though. My most expensive comeback was I think uh, Cataclysm. Right before Cataclysm, I believe. Oh, no, I think it was when I picked up Wrath of Lich King. So I didn't want to come back, and I bought the the, the thing, which was fifty nine dollars, I think. Yeah. And then all the expansions have so only been forty bucks. I don't know where you're getting these. Forty nine ninety nine. It was forty nine ninety nine yeah. for the for Wrath, and then sure. at the Cataclysm, Cataclysm, was, Cataclysm was when they dropped it. I yeah. think so. Okay. So I was we'll say I've, I've, let's say I spent fifty dollars on that, and then I was like, oh, I'm not on the same server, so I'm gonna go ahead and oh, get a server man. change, change server, which was twenty five dollars. Oh, but wait, you're on the other faction. Sweet, I'm gonna switch factions. Twenty five dollars. It was like a hundred dollars to get back played for a month. Oh my <laughs> it's god. Like, yeah, not worth it. Um, but uh, my main reason for not picking it up is just like I'm gonna go into it. If I would, I'd go into it, and be like, "Yeah, sweet, look at this new content. All right, it's time to do that grind. I'm out." And I just don't feel like going back into that to even waste the time to level up again. Yeah, so, which is weird because every other expansion, it's been like, "Oh, I want to kind of go try it." But this one's like that fucking came out. I'm not, no. Yeah, I didn't. Well, even, I, did not, I didn't even I realize didn't it came that out. Cataclysm yeah. soured all oh. my experience for you, Rizzo. It. It did, but not really. It, it, I kind of liked it when I went in because I was like, oh, sweet, it's super easy because it, what it is, it made it faster to get to that part where you'd start be able to start raiding. So I was like, oh, sweet, like, yeah, I'm going to get into this. And then I got those things and then I started getting into like beginner raiding stuff, which is I think when they put out like Firelands or something. Yeah, like, yeah. It started and I was like, this is really not what I want to do. But whenever like you down a boss, it felt fucking great. But I was like, I don't want to spend like every week logging on for like multiple hours to try and do this with some people and then fail and try again next week and then just like not do that. Yeah, no. So it, I was like, you know, that's not Cataclysm what I absolutely poisoned my World of Warcraft experience. It just fucking poisoned it, and I do not. If I could have skipped Cataclysm and gone to this next one, great. Fuck Cataclysm. Isn't there like an internet site that's tr- trying to like host their own servers for like Google? vanilla oh, or something like that? Yeah. <laughs> like, Google. Google. You said internet server. Um, yeah, no. I don't know. I think I think there is. I know there's private servers that you can join, so that's okay, the closest that's thing you can do. Yeah. yeah. But those aren't really legal. But No, they're not. Um, but yeah, anyway, I don't know. Maybe I'll pick it up at some point if ever I'm like super bored, but I already have like Guild Wars Wait, 2 Christmas, waiting for me. They always put their stuff on like half price. Of kind of. I would maybe do it still even then, but like now I have Guild Wars just waiting for it's like when I have free time, I got my MMO. I just got to wait to have some Yeah, free that's time the thing is I've got that. I've got that in the back of my mind where I'm like, well... I oh, can yeah, go you with really WoW. want to buy Guild Wars, that's right. Or I can go with Guild Wars, which is only $60 one time. Dan, I'm surprised you didn't start Mr. Pandaria because there's Pokemon stuff in there now. What the you, fuck? you get mini pets and you battle them. Yeah, level you them. Can, uh... There's a new Pokemon com- game coming out in like a week and a half. How much money? 40 bucks. Done! Get that instead. Exactly. Yeah, you're done. That's, that's my plan. <laughs> There, you've got your WoW experience um, not, in fucking Pokemon. Not to shit on any if WoW people are who are watching. Do, is I know it there's like a the lot of pets and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah you can they, battle the pets now. Oh. Not, and and like I'm saying, like not to shit on anybody who is playing World of Warcraft, like the new expansion. I know it's amazing. I've been told like it's the most content they've ever put in to in, just, in, an, in an expansion that's like been new, unlike Cataclysm, which redid all the one to sixty content as well. But it's just I know there's a lot of new stuff in it. I know the challenge modes are awesome and all that stuff. But it's just like it hasn't managed to pull at least me back in. As, but I don't I've know. I've just had my fill of of that content, and mm. I know, like you said, it's completely. There's a lot of new stuff, new characters, everything like that. But I just I'm w- very wary of falling back into that trap of okay, I got this expansion, I've got this time, I'm gonna play it for X number of days for so many hours, and then I'm gonna go, yeah, no, I've, I've had my fill. And even when I was subbing my Cataclysm well, account... Let, let me let me stop right there for a second. Like Dad, Dan said when he asked if it came with a free month, if this would have came with a free month, Dan, uh, De- De- Devin, would you have went back to it? If it was yeah, 40 no, bucks with a free I, month? I completely... I, you would have played it for that free month and just fucking... Well, no. here's the thing. I would have played it for that free month, and if I had have found that it got its hooks into me, I am probably would have dumped another year into it, or until the mm-hmm. next expansion. It all depends on on the content and how it feels to me, and Cataclysm didn't... 
didn't do what I needed to do for my WoW experience. That's an interesting like cost Model. analysis thing because the expansion costs forty dollars, and then how much does game time cost? Fifteen, yeah, fifteen, 15 US, US for how US long? Dollars a, m- a month, a month, a month. Okay, yeah. the more months so you buy, the less it is. So 13. that is almost sixty dollars for an expansion and a month of play. Sixty dollars is Guild Wars two. I yeah. know, Unlimited I know. Unlimited play, and it's an entire other game. That's but, that's that's why I'm so very hesitant at at even debating on thinking. Okay, maybe I can roll with this because this expansion. Because I do know that Guild Wars I is really right don't there. Think you should? You should just pay I, I five dollars probably... more, get Guild Wars, and then like you can jump into that whenever like Rich own people jump and into that, it. And that's what I'm. That's what I think I'm going. to do. You don't even have to worry about paying a monthly. But then Devin, that. the one you can do is you can you can jump in when I jump in. So it'll be forty nine or less. It'll be twenty five bucks, and you'll be able to switch over to my server for twenty five dollars. And then I'm freaking not horde, so you have to switch twenty five dollars again. So you can pay seventy five dollars. Come play with me. Do it. Uh, but no, the thing Shut is. Shut up! These <laughs> microtransactions are why StarCraft Two exists. If it was forty, yeah. if it was forty bucks, and there was no fifteen extra dollar paywall, I probably would have picked it up. Oh just yeah, to try no, no. I, I would have for sure been it. like, yeah, let's get back into this and try it and fucking peace out, and that'll be it. But thinking about it now, like you've even already spent those sixty dollars on Guild Wars too. Yeah. So whatever. Actually, you know? I spent yeah. eighty bucks. I got to do it for, for some reason. Anyway, um, <laughs> the thing is, also thinking about it, if you think we're not a here month, to talk about my money habits, yes, no. But you know, if, say say you were to get a month free. Or you were to pay for Mr. Pandaria right now and get a month free. Yeah. Or pay for a month. Uh, we kind of looked at it earlier for stuff coming out. And it's like, you'd have, for example, like Tokyo Jungle this Friday. You'd have next week, you'd have Resident Evil 6. The week after that, you'd have Dishonored and uh, XCOM. And it's like but fucking insane games coming out that you would totally, I would totally not play World of Warcraft for more than like the weekend that just passed. Here's, here's the other thing as well that has shown the, Borderlands. the decline <laughs> of, of these um, of the popularity in these expansions. When Wrath of the Lich King came out, every company that was putting out a game when Blizzard said, we're putting it out on this date, every company immediately backed out their, their release dates. They said, no, no, no. They gave them a two to three week buffer. Um, now there's like major releases. Yeah, now it's now it's sharing a week <laughs> with a major release. Borderlands 2 and Torchlight 2. Woo! Yeah, exactly. Where, as before, even with Cataclysm, they had the whole month to themselves. And again. next week is freaking Resident Evil 6. Yeah. Which, which... Famatsu that... apparently gave almost a perfect score. Famitsu? Yeah. Famatsu? Famitsu? So, it, Resident it, it, Evil? Yeah, 6. They're like fucking... What? I was yeah. like... <gasps> that's why I was like, okay, fuck this. I'm gonna pick yeah. <laughs> so that, 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 <laughs> that shows... Suddenly all my like... Hate for it. Yeah, yeah, all my like... Well, I know the story's yeah. gonna be fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah. So that, that, that shows the decline in popularity and how... Not little influence, because it still has a big... A big pool of people it pulls from, but it shows you the decline where, you know, they're not getting full weeks without any other developer releasing major AAA titles with it. And don't get me wrong, like Mr. Pandaria, I know is absolutely amazing if that's still your type of game. But like me, it's because the more is ADHD. It, wow, sucks. I'm no. saying that right now. No, I don't, it's, it's really I don't, good. It doesn't. I don't think it does. Just I've my, just been burnt out on. My, my, I'm not even. I would. Really enjoy to enjoy the, uh, have fun enjoying that new content. The only thing is that I'm super ADHD now with games because of I broadcast. We're doing YouTube stuff now. It's just like I can't fucking play a game for like a month, like straight. That's like, no, I got to play Borderlands two because this is this week. Torchlight then tomorrow, next week I got to fucking really play Resident Evil. But after that, like I really got to play. The, like it's yeah, I wouldn't be able to go back to it. So it's just not worth it. But it, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it'd be fun. But it's just I know it would be fun. I just don't know that it would enthrall me in the ways that it originally did. Um with Wrath of the Lich King and even the first content of Cataclysm. Um, you know, I thought it was great. But then at the same time, I had that whole mentality because I've been raiding pretty hardcore in Wrath of the Lich King where it was like, okay, I just have to blow through this content. I don't give a fuck about any of it. I just want to raid. Which spoiled that experience of leveling from 80 to 85 and seeing all those crazy quests and quest chains that they put in, I just rolled through it all. Like, it was nothing. Speaking of 80 to 85, uh, within 20 hours of the game coming out uh, in Europe, I believe, somebody hit level 90, which is the max level for the expansion. And then I think a few hours after that happened, I don't know what the fuck the reason is, but Blizzard was like, nope, you're going back to 87. Like, I don't know if he, like, figured out some sort of exploit to get experience. Oh, yeah. But uh, apparently that dude, world first, just got, like, knocked the fuck back down to 87. <laughs> I don't know who's the, if he managed to get back up there or somebody else already had it. But it was just like, whoa. I know there's so I know in Cataclysm there were some, the some serious Tonight? issues with um with uh We're being told from the chat that he used the bot. <laughs> oh really? Uh, okay. I know there were some serious issues from eighty to eighty five, uh where people were 
there's another group within a raid and what the person was doing was he just was running and tagging people yeah. so he was doing one damage and then the raid group would what kill him. What was the name? Uh, of, 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 you know the guy I was talking about, right? Yeah. yeah. It's the dude who's always like, I'm pro gamer, but actually now he's awesome. So yeah. shout out to whoever his name is. I forget his name. Alice something. <laughs> um, you think they'll stop making WoW expansions when the level cap's 100? Actually, there's, there's You think been... that's the end of WoW? 100? There's been a lot of talk on forums and stuff of Mr. Pandaria being the last WoW expansion they said before they, they go people, to the next MMO. whatever I think is. they're going to do one more level cap 100 and I, then they I think there up. has to be uh, another one more because they Mr. Pandaria being the, the like, okay, we're going to do these once a year. They can't be like, we're going to do these once a year for one year because we're done. So I think they're going to do maybe at least one more. But yeah. So I, I'm, and I they'll know. raise the level cap to 100 and then when you get there, they'll be like, yo, here's a trailer for the next. Here's WoW 2. <laughs> but I well, imagine if they did that where it's like here's the next expansion by the way free to play new, and then like while it's going free to play they're just like by the way new MMO <laughs> and it's, like, it's crazy I don't know, yeah, I don't know the, wor- the world it. first to 100 is just like found dead with his mind blown out of his head <laughs> or they're just like level cap 100,000 <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that'd be insane. Some dude's just like, I'm so ready to get to the end level. Just like, he just hears that number. It's like, <laughs> blows himself out. That sounds bad. Um, blows, blows his head. Himself up. 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 News? News? News. Um, I guess we'll roll with it. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> All right, so news. So Mark the Ninja, like I believe Dan totally called, called it. I, I half called week. this. Because I said it would be coming to Steam Ooh. with Games for Windows Live. Oh. Uh, Wop, wop. Well, the bad news is it won't have games for Windows Live. Yay! I mean, what? No. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is it's coming to Steam. Woo! Um, Technically, isn't that both good news? Oh yeah, shut up. Actually, Woo! I don't mind it. You'll get achievements now. That's true. I, I'm not whatever, I'm not going to buy it again. I am totally yeah. not an achievement whore like you guys. Yeah, $15, and I think, yeah, I'm not going to buy it again. But it is still pretty awesome. I still have to actually even go through it, so... You know we're full of shit when we say we're not going to buy it again because it's going to go. The sec- if it goes sale. on sale, if it goes on yeah. sale, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, we'll still good. Yo, half off, Margaret Ninja seven fifty. Oh, I guess I'm buying this again. Oh shit, I'll take six. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I'll speaking sp- of Blizzard free to play, <laughs> they, ah. might, they might be looking to make the. Why mul- didn't it's too bad that wasn't the first yeah. tab. Oh, oh, that fucking great. perfect segue. Uh, but they might be thinking of making the multiplayer for StarCraft two free to play uh, instead of being like is the this, starter. Are they talking about Wings of Liberty or are they? They don't. They didn't really say. The thing is that instead of making the like the starter pack currently. Gives you the first like few levels of the single player as well as the ability to play uh, Terran online in real matches. I think for seven hours, and the rest is just you have to play custom matches or whatever. You're against locked bots. to like four or five rotating maps, though. Yeah, that's true. You like start edition maps, yeah. But uh, so they're thinking of making the multiplayer just full on free to play, uh, every race, everything, um, which I think would be cool. Yeah, cool. I think it would introduce... be interesting because the main thing that is delaying. Heart of the Swarm is because they're trying to get the multiplayer sorted out. Yeah. yeah. So if they say that's going free to play then at the mul- some point, but here's the fucking campaign. Well, Go the thing is, the play. multiplayer is going to be tiered anyway. So mm-hmm. like when you click multiplayer, it'll be like, do you want a Heart of Swarm it or do you want a Wings of Liberty it? Oh, so. I know that. But I'm saying that campaign has been done for oh, months. Oh, yeah. You're saying the campaign just bust its way out there. Yeah. So okay. that means if they do this for bust the third it. expansion, what's what's the Protoss expansion called? Um, they have a name for it. Something of the oh, Void? Yeah. yeah. Void of the Pandera? Oh, fuck. Damn it. <laughs> I want to say Tales of the Void or something no, like that. No, that doesn't sound Tales right at all. Tales would not um, their way onto... But yeah, what if they just, like, <laughs> at ex- <laughs> Fact trying to checking. type all secretly? Um, <laughs> if it is actually something of the Void, I'll be proud of myself. Yeah. Um, just keep going. Yeah. Okay, if they actually, like... Okay, so, so it will have been... T- Three years since they released StarCraft Two to Heart of the Swarm. Rough, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, about that. Does, that. does that sound about right? Three years, yeah, because I think we, yeah, well, no, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so if they like two years from now just release the Protoss campaign, but then like a year later from that release the um, the multiplayer as like the free to play model, and then people have already had a chance to go with those new units, and then they. Try out the new ones. Your clicking was really bugging me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to. Just don't, don't. Those are mouse mice. Mice. <laughs> it's, it's gonna. Just really it's, want to know that it's, name? It's, it's bugging me now. I'm pretty, Fuck it. Something Legacy of the, of the Void. Yeah, I knew oh. it. Shut up. 
Fist bump. Fist bump for sure. No one saw that. About myself. Actually, no one saw that because it was behind Richie on the video. Perfect. And the rest of it's audio. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it. no, I, I think that they could potentially do something like it that. It could work. Yeah. Or maybe could. after all the expansions are out, they'll make all the multiplayer free to play and then be like, but you still play for the single player. Microtransaction. And maybe they'll sell like a StarCraft Two trilogy pack or something that'd like be cool. that. And yeah. it's like all like the Like a battle games. chest. Yeah, that makes sense. Actually, that's, yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> You got me there. It'll be a battle cruiser chest. Uh, anyway, speaking, speaking of, of Blizzard, Blizzard stuff, things. yeah, we're gonna pop over to what uh, Tryon Online is doing for uh, Rift Storm Legion, their newest expansion coming out. I don't know when, but at some point, you can pre-order it now. Uh, and they say, and they started this just because of Mr. Pandaria's um, release, I guess. Uh, it says, if you pre-order Rift Storm Legion now, we're giving a dollar to Pandas International for every pre-order we get this week. But that's not all. Anyone who's pre-ordered, you also get into the beta tests. But they're giving it to some panda thing, so uh, I think they're trying to do a little nod at uh, World of Warcraft there. But <laughs> which, is, which is pretty funny when you think about it. Poor pandas yeah. being beaten yeah. in World of Warcraft. That yes, I don't know what I just said there. I understood. I got what Jesus. you meant. Jesus. Um, but anyway, so another stuff. Uh, Fancy Star Online. Speaking two. of MMOs, woo! Man, Going just... rolling this train. Uh, speaking of MMOs. We're uh, Fancy Star Online 2, which is something I'm very excited for for the PC because it's gonna be free to play. Uh, is apparently going that's to be that's the game that's already out in Japan, right? Bid on bid in Japan, yeah, it's okay. playable All in right. Japan. Yes. Um, so that's gonna be going to the Vita, the PS Vita, um, for free download, free to play, everything Vita, huh? Least. So that means your main reason to buy a Vita could just be you Cross only board. have to buy the Vita, yeah, exactly, and a memory card, exactly. And that's it. And uh, huh. people who've played at the TGS at TGS uh, have said that it controls really well. It's really awesome. And I think your character goes from one like it just it's interchangeable. Well, it's probably just account. Yeah, it's yeah. Just an account. So that sounds fucking sick. So I'm super excited. <laughs> That'd be wicked. Super excited. Um, other than that, speaking of stuff that is in TGS, no, it's not Tokyo. It's never mind. It's Hong Kong. Fuck. Yeah, close. It's not even Hong Kong. Close. I don't even know. Anyway, so uh, Sleeping Dogs is... Speaking getting, of games. Woo! Sleeping Dogs is getting its first DLC in October. Uh, it'll be... Speaking of games published by Japanese developers. Boom. Thank you. Uh, the first story-driven expansion... Tokyo! Oh, first story-driven f- story expansion pack is coming out <laughs> for Japan. Sleeping Dogs. Uh, it, uh, Sleeping Dogs is in Hong Kong. No, you know, what that's is, what you just said. What is, Tokyo's in Japan. I don't know what it's called. That's where your segue came from. No, it came from Square Enix and whatever company publishes Fantasy Star. Oh, sorry. So more information on this DLC pack will be given at New York Comic Con. I thought it was actually the name was at least out, but no, the the name isn't out, but it's going to be coming with other free DLC. I think. Oh, cool. Or alongside other DLC. Well, no, they um announced the kind of like nickel and diming. DLC, yeah, the, some of the more like, racer pack mission and things uh, and like cosmetic. The community things. gift pack as well. Mm-hmm. So. Those are along the lines of the Saints Row the Third stuff. Like you'll get this outfit, this gun, and this car. Mm-hmm. Um, in other nickel and dime, you have to way? somehow segue Sleeping Dogs and Square Enix. Speaking of guns, uh, guns in space, as you guys may have heard it, also called as Mass Effect. Uh, the there trilogy- are no guns in Sleeping <laughs> Shut Dogs. The fuck, <laughs> there are. You can shoot weapons. Not in the good version of Sleeping Shut, Dogs. Shut your fuck. Um. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Mass Effect trilogy trilogy is going to be coming to the 360. PC and at some point the PS3. Oh, yeah. uh, they so actually have to do some porting work there <laughs> yeah. and port the first game. Yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, the 360 and PC version are going to be out November 6th, 2012, for 60 bucks. It will come with uh, well, I guess Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3 with, I'm guessing, all the DLC? I should hope so. Um, yeah. And uh, The Mass Effect 2 PS3 came with all the important Mass Effect 2 DLC. Relevant DLC. Yeah. Like, not the, like, you'll have some extra guns or some extra character skins, but it came with, like, Lair of the Shadow Broker and yeah. uh, Arb- Kasumi and uh, Overlord. Overlord, that was it. And Arrival wasn't out when they put that game out, so it didn't come with it. But yeah. Speaking of games that already come in three, they'll be getting a, f- be getting a fourth episode soon. Uh, what tell the hell? Tell- Shut the you, fuck up. <laughs> you could do much better than this. All right, speaking of zombies in space. Speaking of... <laughs> I don't even know that any makes sense. Dialogue trees. Speaking of dialogue trees, good job. Um, wow. Walking crap. Dead. There's even trees in that picture. Subliminal messaging. Speaking of fire axes in space, uh, Walking <laughs> Dead episode. <laughs> the Walking Dead episode four now has an October release window, which really is have awesome. To play those. Um, yeah. Before this, when he brought up this news, I said I haven't finished the third one, and he went to like. 
punch you in the face. Yeah, and then I said, hey, Devin hasn't played any of them, and so immediately Devin drew was his attention struck, elsewhere. Devin was struck in the face. <laughs> it was terrible. Um, I didn't like it. Yeah, no, wait, what? I didn't like being struck in the face. I thought face. you didn't like Walking Dead. I was like, no, that's it. You're getting stabbed. <laughs> um, no, Walking Dead episode four is going to be out in October. Yay! So I'm guessing they're going to aim for like 31st. <laughs> Probably. For Halloween. And so 31st they can have is a much... Wednesday. That's Live Arcade release day. Ooh, that looks like it's good. Yeah. <laughs> um, so apparently... Uh, Yo, you need to segue this. Shit. Um, speaking of a number that has like a four kind of in it, but is less than that, the 3DS <laughs> apparently put out... <laughs> <laughs> firmware update. If you actually read its f- version 4.4 of the 3DS firmware, you could have... <laughs> you you have so much information here that would help you do this, and you're just... You're, wasting you're it. You're just wasting it. Speaking this is of wasted four potential. and multiple fours, as well as one minus four, I mean four minus one, the 3DS put out their newest update, <laughs> 4.4.0-10U. And it looks like it is just a small maintenance thing. However, it seems to be locking out people who use the hacked flashcards. <laughs> Good. So, Good for Nintendo. Yeah. Pulling all like a PS3 like, hey, minor security updates. Yo, all your hack shit is broken now. Suck it. <laughs> <laughs> Buy the real stuff. Yeah. Bitches. <laughs> um, this is an easy one. So, uh, talking about tablets and your... Fuck, no. <laughs> talking about Nintendo stuff. Uh, Nintendo finally announced... Nintendo all- things with two screens. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Now, Nintendo announces all 23 games that will be available on the Wii U launch day, which are Call date and date. Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Skylanders Giants, Transformers Ooh. Prime, Wipeout 3. Hey, do you think you'll be able to use the... Do you think Wipeout 3 is the drive? That's not... That's no way. That's no, fucking that's hell. not the fucking Sony Disney franchise. Epic Making 2, Power of 2, EA wait, Sports, wait, wait, FIFA, wait, 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 what? For Skylanders, back. do you think they're going to use the tablet as a way to read the... Yes. Skylanders? Probably. Yes. Yes. Probably. Okay, great. Disney Epic Mickey 2, The Power of 2, EA Sports FIFA Soccer 13, Tekken Tag Tournament, Tekken Tournament, 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 your Shape Fitness of All 2013, <laughs> Zombie U, Scribble Knots Unlimited, Game Party Champions, and Batman Arkham City Armored Edition. So if you buy this game at launch, what are you getting? Ah, uh, Zombie U. That's it? Yes. Really? Yes, I'm looking at this list, yes. <laughs> Maybe Scribble Knots, but no. <laughs> I would pay There's for gotta it. be... Sorry, I would probably get Zombie you know U first party as stuff well as uh, Super Mario Brothers U would be my other second okay, choice. Okay, and you'd get the deluxe version which come with it. Yeah, but I would probably not get Super Mario Brothers U, or I would, or I'd wait and just get the Rayman game coming out at some point. So. Yeah. Yep. I, speaking of Rayman, I bought that game on that's on iOS. That it's fantastic. It? It's like, it's the best way they could have like made an Origins type game on nice. iOS. Oh, really? Wow. It's like a runner, but there's all kinds of like tricks. It's it's a runner, but it has levels. Oh yeah. So you're trying to like figure out the optimal path through the level to get all the lums and like all the coins and stuff. And, Crazy. And it's not time based either. It's oh, just like nice. make it through the level at all. Oh. So there's like enemies and stuff that you have to fight. It's great. It's yes. Awesome. For three bucks. Um. So speaking of stuff coming out, release. Steam got their first green light title actually buyable on Steam now. I think for five dollars. <laughs> Speaking of iOS games that are also on other platforms. I'm out. Come on. Dan, just he's getting kicked <laughs> in the dick by Sup Sup Zero. Anyway, so McPixel is coming out. Uh, it's out actually on Steam now for five dollars. Uh and you can go ahead and buy it. I don't know what else is gonna come out next for Greenlight, but it's cool to see something actually. Probably a couple of the mods. Yeah. I'll bet you stuff like Cry of Fear and yeah. Some yeah, something stuff like that. Comes out oh, next. by the way, going back to Craft Fear, my, my, I had a save file that I played back when the game was patch 1.3 uh, that you got to the first boss in the game, which I think is yeah, like two hours in. Beat it. Yeah, so they patched the game, and then the guy's like, yo, that thing is fucked. You have got to restart the game. <laughs> so I was like, oh. Good thing I waited. <laughs> Shit. So now I'm probably going to restart it. Um, yeah, Big Pixels out, $5 Steam. Pretty cool. Um, so specs. Shit. Speaking of stuff coming out on Steam and requiring PCs to use, Far Cry 3. Ta da! Far Cry 3 PC specs have been released. The minimum specs will ask you to have a video card with, with 512. 512 <laughs> with the I don't care co- about fucking minimum specs. What's du- the optimal okay. specs? Well, the rec- recommended are... No, no, du- optimal. 
Okay, well, the high performance is 8 gigs of memory, a quad-core CPU, and a DirectX video card. So I do not have enough memory. I only have 6, but... I got the 8 gigs of memory, but I only have a dual-core CPU. Oh, that's not good. Hmm. Just get rid of that shit. Because even recommended says quad-core. But, like, what am I going to buy? An i7? This shit costs a lot of money. Yeah, no, fuck it. Just play the game, enjoy it. Yep. Do you want me to buy a new mic for this podcast, or you want me to buy an i7? You want to buy a mic for this i7 cast. Plus, I'm not kidding. (laughs) What? (laughs) <laughs> exactly i have no idea i have no idea uh anyway so that's that um so apparently uh according to a face oh, hey, you got shit it. i forgot how can i segue this okay so far cry from you what nintendo far normally cry, does Steam and ubisoft okay let's from far cry from what nintendo normally does it seems that they're doing a facebook campaign oh shit that was great that actually didn't make any sense. I'm pretty sure Nintendo does this stuff. Anyway, point is, they're going to be putting out... Actually, no. From Far Cry, no, what Nintendo does... They have never done this. They're that was out, fantastic. They are putting out possibly a Nintendo Super Mario game for the iPhone. Now, if only we Maybe. do the Pokemon. Apparently, or something. I don't know. Uh, That'd be great. Just, oh, sorry. No. It's a fan that's doing this. I totally fucked this up. Oh, uh, man. You killed it. I killed it. I should have probably scrolled down. Um, no, it'd be cool if somebody made apparently something that looks like Mario being on the uh, In what iPhone. would be a Far Cry. Yeah, it would be a Far Cry. There you go. Uh, it would be really sweet to actually have a Mario side running game. Because it's side running and there'd be stuff. Yo, Rayman see. did it. It's too bad this news article wasn't beside the Rayman one. Let's or I talked about Rayman right before it. Closing that one super fast. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, in other stuff that is going to include crying. What? Like zombie you, cries. You can do better than this. Okay. Uh, for S- Speaking, speaking of, of things that fans love about their games. Zombies are going to, once again... Well, no, the reason why this zombies mode in Call of Duty is so popular is because, because of its fans. Just like why Mario is popular and why a fan-run campaign on Facebook. You understand? There's no other better segue. I can't think of one. You look fed up with these segues, Devin. Uh, I'm fed <laughs> up with these segues. Okay, so there's some I, more information on the yeah. Black Ops 2 zombie mode. Uh, apparently that bus trailer that they showed is a map that has you killing things, get, jumping on the bus, it brings you somewhere else, jumping out, shooting things, jumping on the bus, and moving around. So it's like... Oh, that's of, interesting. Yeah. Um, and uh, there's also... that's Well, that's called transit mode. There's some other stuff. Uh, apparently grief mode, which is two teams of four players that have to compete against each other while taking on waves of zombies. So I think it's going to be a score-based thing. These kind of while weirdly shooting sound like the like Resident Evil 5 Mercenaries stuff. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Um, yeah, so there's that. And apparently now there's custom games options, so special weapons that you can build and much more. Ooh. So there's more stuff that's still coming out for Black Ops 2. That like game they're sounds fully like it's fleshing be a cool out that zombie mode. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so cool. I'm, I'm kind of excited for Black Ops 2. I won't lie. Uh, speaking of big shooters this fall, yeah, yeah, that was an easy one. And kind of speaking of Destructoid doing a kind of super false title for their story and getting all people up in arms about spoilers. Their when title it really isn't. Yeah, their, like, their title for their post uh, is entitled "Here's our first look at the flood in Halo 4." And, uh, in fact, it's the Flood is indeed in Halo 4. However, it is not in the single player. It is going to be used... Which in, has been said before, yeah, but that's yeah. why people freaked yeah. out. <laughs> uh, so what they're going to be doing is in Halo 4's multiplayer for games like Infection, where, let's say, the other team would turn into zombies. Uh, well, they'll just be turning that Spartan into some sort of Flood-infected zombie. Cool. So it looks cool. Which, awesome. That is Sounds way better than sick. reskinning the player page. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that'd also be <laughs> awesome if that's just like a player skin that you can make your guy look like and just unlock and use. That'd be fucking sweet. That'd be really cool. I don't know. Like he's you've got... never been able to color your character's zombie color. But he's got tentacles coming out of his eye sockets. So I want that. <laughs> Great. That's what I I'm want actually my very Spartan excited to look like. Um, I probably should kill him. But anyways, uh, apparently the Old Republic got a new... Fuck, what is this? this is online stuff updates. Uh, so apparently <laughs> the Old Republic got a new patch today, uh, 1.4, or maybe it's not today. It was yesterday, technically, because we're past midnight now. Uh, so 1.4, Star Wars Old Republic came out. Uh, not really sure too much of what it does. Dan, would you ever go back to this? When it goes free, when it goes free absolutely. Do you actually do it? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. uh, so new features, galaxy stuff characters faces to express their terror i don't know i'm trying to read this huh. story it there's happen. an ad right there for a movie called looper mm-hmm. i actually really want to see that movie as a time travel yeah that's oh, that, that'd and be awesome. bruce willis and I like joseph bruce gordon willis. levitt in it oh you want to go, go see it then yes all right 
So Great. apparently, according <laughs> to, to ads who, work, <laughs> according to this ad thing that Dan is talking about, uh, the Spider-Man, the movie, Amazing Spider-Man game, is getting Talk, DLC. Speaking about movies, you don't have to get all complicated sometimes. Spider-Man the movie, it's not the, game. Movie, the Amazing Spider-Man game, uh, is getting new DLC, which is going to add into new mini games, uh, as well as I think. Was the, that game any good? Do you know? Uh, I th- apparently it was decent. It now came out for Steam now because it shows for forty nine nine nine. You can buy it, or oh. maybe it was always out. I don't know. It just finally popped up for me. Huh. But uh, so no, they're also going to put the two pre order packs, like the Stanley thing and the Rhino thingy, out. So um, cool. I kind of want to try that game because it did look kind of cool with the sweet ass camera. Well, now you can wait for a Steam sale. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so fuck segways. Whatever. Nintendo yeah. Power just sends out a farewell letter to their subscribers finally. So they're done apparently and uh um, They're done, done. They they said thanks to everyone and you guys have been super loyal, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. They are going to be done after December 2012. Wow. December 2012 being their last issue. That's intense. Kind of crazy. They say 24 years of Nintendo Power. 20 freaking 4. Intense. That's 24 times 12. That's how many issues came out. That's a lot. Somebody want to help me? Two hundred forty and two. We have phones and calculators. Two hundred and fifty-six. Two hundred fifty-eight. Yeah, about that. Two hundred and fifty-six. Two hundred and fifty-six. Two hundred fifty-eight. Yeah, about that. Two hundred and fifty-six. Anyway, um, there's a lot. <laughs> this is a big number. It is too late. Um, so apparently, uh, another stuff. Assassin's Creed Three is sorry. Assassin's Creed is going to come <laughs> to the PS3 only. To Sorry, this is fucking stuff. There's going to be a trilogy release for Assassin's Creed 2 on the PS3, which is going to feature Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood, and Revelations all together. Wait, wait, wait. With all the DLC. Sorry, d- did I crazy mishear you there? Did you say PS2? 3. Okay. Assassin's yeah. Creed 2 for the PS3. Okay, all right. I was like, excuse me, what? Yeah. <laughs> so that's going to be coming out. Um, and uh, it's going to have all that stuff with all the DLC, all three versions, or all three games of Assassin's Creed 2, all for 40 bucks with everything. PS3 only. There's a very similar bundle to that that exists right now, which is the first three and not Revelations. Yeah. Oh, cool. With all the DLC? Oh, no, not the DLC. Yeah, this is with all the DLC, too. Hmm. It's pretty sweet. There's actually a lot of DLC for yeah, Revelations, I know. so... It's not bad. It's not bad cool. at all. Um, So apparently Joe Danger 2, which is now on the 360, is going to be heading to the PSN, which is fucked up because that game was a PS3 exclusive. And now... It's... <laughs> do, you, do you see this what? real easy segue that you just missed? No. Oh. Speaking of PS3 exclusives. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck segues. I'm done It's with super them. easy. It's, it was in the titles of both those things. We have one more. Just, just let me live, Dan. <laughs> Skipping it. Um, Joe Danger 2 looks kind of interesting. I don't know why I did this. Why did you do that? <laughs> that was done. We're done. That's it for news. <laughs> new releases. <laughs> I was interested in reading that one, but I didn't read it. <laughs> Fuck. Anyway, so new releases coming out uh, next week. Actually, this week, is there anything that we missed that is actually still coming out? That, that is, like, on the weekend? Uh, Tokyo Tiger. Oh, yeah, Tokyo Tiger? Tokyo no. Tiger. <laughs> Tokyo, <laughs> Tokyo Jungle. Jungle is coming out this Friday. Yo, that game, Tokyo Tiger, looks sweet. Castle Crash just came out today, actually. Wait, I'm totally wrong. It came out on the fucking 25th. It has been out. <laughs> you told Shit. me. What the fuck? <laughs> we could have been playing this. All these videos we've recorded, totally you fucked up. You fool. I fooled us Cast all. Castle Crashers on PC came out today. $15. Includes I can't all the that. DLC. I don't like that game that much. I'm sorry. Shut up. That's really cool. I like it. I just fall asleep playing Shut it. Shut up. Well, I'm going to do all... Next week, we've got games such as Resident Evil 6 for the 360 and PS3. And um, <laughs> War of the Roses for the PC. I actually heard something about that game. Yeah. <laughs> do you remember it? It's a no. Mountain Blade... This newest thing. Is it? They just released another one. Um, as well as Pokemon White version 2. Yeah, see, he told you. Next week. I don't gotta wait long. Yeah. Um, My Pokemon fix. And uh, what else do we got here? We got uh, we got Raw, which came out for the 360 last week. Now coming out for the PC. We got Hell Yeah, which came out for the 360 and PS3 this week. Coming out next week. And uh, oh, You're interested in that. Yeah, I want to actually try that out uh, on Steam. So we'll see what that's like. Um, yeah, that was a pretty fucking garbled up... J- Bad shit, full ton of info for that. It's like you're talking about this entire podcast. It's too late for us to be recording this ever again like this. Thank God Never. it's in a short podcast. This, this has been like a a life changing revelation yeah. tonight. Like Never doing this again. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to do it earlier. Not the podcast we're going to record. Oh, yeah, no, the po- yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Po- podcast we're recording. Um, 
But uh, I think that's pretty much it. I don't think we got questions. any questions. I don't know if anybody in the live chat on Twitch here has any questions for us. Um, if not, I'm also going to When check. did five more people start watching? What the fuck? Soon. I don't know what soon. I mean, earlier. <laughs> uh, it looks like we have no questions. Wow, okay. And you answered the only one I on answered. the YouTube channel. Actually, someone had second, question mark, and uh, that was pretty much The answer yes. is yes. You, are, yeah, you, you, are, are you were second. second on that other one. Uh, somebody else asked, uh, somebody said he was inspired by our videos, I believe, and he wanted to get started if we had any tips. Uh, and it was pretty much... Nope. Keep, <laughs> no, no, it was just to keep trying no matter what. Like, I mean, I know we had like a full, like almost year stint where we weren't really getting any views, we didn't really get any subscribers, but we just kept at it. And now we have a backlog of what we like year. to think of. Well, what? Roughly a year. So we started yeah. in January, but we kind of put up our first kind of like teaser can, video can, in can, December. Math. Richio, what podcast is this? 34. That's how many 35. weeks we've been doing the site for. Yeah, but I mean, we're almost at a year. It was like a few months away. But anyways, just keep trying. No matter okay. what you do, just keep putting <laughs> stuff out and keep having fun with it. It's yeah, if, if it's part. not fun, don't do it. But even if, if what's making it not fun is that oh, you're not okay, getting Oh, okay, I'm going home. I'm hold tired. But if, if, <laughs> hold on. If, if, if what's just making it... your ass down, Dan. Hold on. If what's making it not fun for you would be that you're not getting a lot of views, it would just be to continuously... Like, just just keep doing it. Because like, like I said, for us, we kept doing it and now... It's only we're in the of, last two weeks that we yeah, have, have viewers views. now. But, but now because we kept doing it, people can go back and watch our older videos and still see like, okay, these guys have a lot of stuff that's neat. It's not like... They're fresh and yeah, just... Yeah, and I don't know. It's, it gives like a backlog it. It, of stuff. It, it is worth it. It is cool. Not that we're anywhere up there, but we are definitely having fun. Gotten somewhere crazier, better in the past two weeks. <laughs> yep. So that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, but other than that, I think it's going to do it for tonight uh, or today. This podcast, I should say, uh, episode thirty-five. And um, is it morning? It's, yeah, morning, it's now, morning now. Technically, it's twelve Whoa. eighteen. This is the first time we've ever recorded a podcast on a Thursday, you guys. No. Let's restart. All right. <laughs> Episode 35. I'm reaching. Okay. Anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah. To everyone who's been listening, take care. Thanks for listening. Uh, if you're watching on the live stream, thanks for stopping by. If you guys are listening to us on iTunes, don't forget to rate and review us because it will totally, totally help us out as stupid as that sounds. Uh, it will actually make us possibly pop up in new and upcoming or to look for or yes, whatever the indeed. hell they call it. Um, and if you're listening to us new on YouTube. New and noteworthy. New and noteworthy. Thank you. Uh, if you listen to us on YouTube, don't forget to leave some comments as questions. As well as if you look down below into the description thing, you'll see an email that you can send it to, which I believe is podcast at eunitygaming.com. And uh, you can PM us something. You can tweet us something. All that information is down below. We love reading them. And uh, yeah, we love reading them. And um, thank you guys for tuning in. If you got this far and you haven't already seen our other video, FTLs, there's going to be more coming and all this other stuff. So yep. check it out. Um, the people that only care about FTL are not watching this podcast. Yeah. yeah. But um, anyway. <laughs> To everyone. I'm comfortable saying that because they will never hear this. <laughs> <laughs> to everyone, thanks for watching. All right, thanks for listening. I'm watching my own voice bars. Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. I've been Richo. I'm still Dan. And I'm Sompy. I'm going back to that. No, Devin, we call too you weird. Devin. You're, De- you're Devin. Devin's-